Tax Assistant Online is an optional extension to the desktop version of Tax Assistant. It allows individual taxpayers to complete their tax returns online, which can then be imported by the nominated tax agent to the desktop application, where they can be validated and lodged with the tax office. The website of Tax Assistant Online is www.taxassistant.com.au. There you can find information on how the online application works, and get answers to frequently asked questions. The homepage has a self-registration option for new clients and a login option for existing clients. Let's register as a new taxpayer. The registration page requires basic contact information as well as a valid tax file number. Populate the fields then click on the OK button. Tax Assistant Online will suggest the list of agents in your local area based on postcode. By clicking on the View button, you can view the contact details of the agent and fees the agent charges for their online services. The green ticks in Payment table indicate the appropriate items are included in the corresponding payment plan. It is possible to change the filter and search for agents in other areas by the postcode or choose to view tax agents in an entire state. To choose a tax agent, click on the Select button. This will take you to a control panel, the screen that you will see each time you log into your account in Tax Assistant Online. It allows the taxpayer to change their profile details by clicking on the Manage Profile button. Or to send an email. or post a question to the tax agent. Messages can be read by a tax agent via their desktop application. To start a new tax return in the selected year, click on the Open Tax Return button. If you open a tax return for the first time, you will have to answer the following questions. The answers will allow the program to customise your tax return by hiding irrelevant items. By default, all questions have positive answers indicating that all items are required. Suppose we are not sole traders, therefore we will answer no to this question. We will leave other questions and click on the next button. The tax return form will be opened. To prepare a tax return, we have to provide information in all relevant items, validate the return, pay the fee for the online service and sign the return ready for lodgement. Let's start answering the questions. It is possible to provide income details by entering amounts directly to the form. However, where the item descriptions are underlined, we can use worksheets to complete the items. To open the worksheet, click on the underlined item description, complete the worksheet, then click the Save and Close button to transfer values to the tax return. Each item on the tax return form is linked to a help topic which can be activated by clicking on the item number, like this. The help topic provides the list of income or expense categories that can be claimed in the item and to avoid any common errors, it also lists the categories that cannot be shown in the item. If you need further assistance completing the tax return, click on the help button. In the help screen you can access the topic that will provide information on how to use the program as well as the provision for submitting your question to your nominated tax agent. Every time the form is updated, the online tax estimate will display the tax payable or refund based on the data entered in the tax return. You can click on this button to view the details of the calculation.
The next step is validation of the tax return. Click on the check button to check for any logical errors in the tax return. In our case, we have failed to provide our seller in wage occupation. Let's select one. Accountant, for example. Now we will save the return and click on the check button again to refresh the error list. As you can see, the error has disappeared and the tax return has passed the validation test. It is possible to upload supporting documents to your tax return, such as page payment summaries. To upload a document, click on the Documents link first, then click on the Upload New Document button and choose the document. Uploading of scanned images of the document is not required, but if supplied, will assist the tax agent in verifying the data entry of your tax return. Click on the Finish button to finalise the tax return. This screen will indicate the return has passed validation test, and we can proceed with the payment. The indicated fee was calculated based on the payment plan that was triggered by completed items in your tax return. You can choose one out of four payment options. Allow the tax agent to deduct the service fee from your refund. Usually this service attracts an additional fee, in this case $22. This option appears only if the refund is sufficient. Payment online using credit card. Via PayPal. Log in using your PayPal account to complete the payment. Or via mail order. In this case, we will have to print the tax invoice and send the payment details to the tax agent via normal post. This can be either receipt of direct deposit, credit card details or enclosed check. Some of the payment options may be disabled by a tax agent. For the sake of this presentation, we will choose to pay by mail order. We will leave the selection there and click on the next button to go to the declaration form. Before you can sign your tax return for lodgement, you have to declare that all information provided in the tax return is true and correct and that you allow your nominated tax agent to lodge the tax return on your behalf. You can then digitally sign your tax return, reproducing your signature in the box using the mouse pointer. When all declaration boxes are ticked and a signature produced, click on the Submit button to sign the return for lodgement. Upon submission of the return, an email will be sent to your email address. The email will have a copy of the printed tax return, tax estimate, and tax invoice. You will have to check the attached details again and notify the nominated tax agent if any errors in the return were detected. The taxpayer will receive an automated email once their tax return was lodged by a tax agent. If they need to contact their tax agent, they can send him an email via the control panel in Tax Assistant Online. Now let's see how a tax agent will manage the tax return after it has been signed by a taxpayer. The tax agent will be notified when a taxpayer has signed their tax return in two ways. Either via an email alert, which tells that such and such taxpayer has signed their tax return, or the tax agent can find the tax return by checking the Tax Assistant Online Summary screen in the desktop version of Tax Assistant. This will display the list of taxpayers with signed tax returns. In this case, it shows John Smith's return that we just signed. The online application does not have a lodgement module. Therefore, the return has to be downloaded to the Tax Assistant application, where it can be validated and lodged with the tax office. Double-click on the taxpayer in the Tax Assistant summary screen, and the tax return will be downloaded. If there are any attachments to the tax return, they can also be downloaded. But first, you have to save the tax return so it generates a new client's folder where the attachment can be downloaded to. Once the return has been downloaded, we can check and lodge it with the ATO. In this case, the return has passed validation test. A taxpayer is allowed to sign a tax return even if it has validation errors. Therefore, in some instances, you are required to fix the errors after the return has been downloaded. 
After you have fixed validation errors, you can update the return in the online application by selecting Tools, Tax Assistant Online, Update Online Return Status. To lodge the tax return, change the return status to Signed. Click on the ELS button and then on the Send or Connect button. Upon completion of the lodgement session, a validation report will be displayed and a confirmation message to update the return status in the online application will appear. Click on the Yes button and the status of the online tax return will be changed to Lodged. The email to a taxpayer will also be generated, notifying them about their return being lodged with the tax office. If any taxpayer submits a question via Tax Assistant Online, the tax agent will be notified by email. They can also check online messages by selecting Tools, Tax Assistant Online, Online Messages. This will display a list of unanswered questions. In this case, it displays the question from our sample taxpayer, John Smith. You can answer the question by double-clicking on a question and typing in an answer in the answer box. Simply click Send to send the answer to the taxpayer. Let's now log into the agent's account in Tax Assistant Online and check what features are available there. To log in, you have to use the same login screen as for the taxpayers. The Agent Control Panel screen displays the list of taxpayers who have chosen them as a tax agent. The list also displays the status of the taxpayer's tax return in the current year. As you can see, the status of John Smith's tax return has been updated to Lodged as a result of communication with the desktop system. By clicking on the taxpayer's name, you can open their tax return to check it online. You can return to your control panel by clicking on the Management link. The Profile button allows the agent to change their contact details. and set up the payment options for taxpayers. As an optional feature, tax agents may choose to integrate Tax Assistant Online with their website. One of the integration examples is the website of Financial Freedom Solutions or www.finfree.com.au. If you choose to register, you will see a registration form which matches the layout of the website. Newly registered taxpayers will be automatically linked to the agent, skipping the step where they have to choose a tax agent. If we log in using details of the registered taxpayer, it will open Tax Assistant Online with the agent's logo on top suggesting the online application is part of the agent's website. The integrated version of Tax Assistant Online allows tax agents to advertise their services and their website without being associated with other tax agents registered in Tax Assistant Online. This concludes our Tax Assistant Online presentation. Thank you for your attention.